China continues to blame India for the tensions at the line of actual control despite disengagement talks. China has again repeated that India is responsible for the conflict at the border. China also once again claims sovereignty over the Galwan Valley. This comes as both the sides agreed to disengage during the military level talks. Meanwhile, the two countries held diplomatic level talks today. This is the second joint secretary level talks between India and China. The working mechanism for consultation and coordination on India-China border affairs or the WMCC is holding a virtual meeting to discuss border tensions between the two countries. Earlier, sources told Vion that the disengagement will begin in the next one or two days. However, the disengagement will be inspected on the ground and only after verification will the troops disengage further. Chinese Foreign Affairs Ministry accuses India for the clashes in the Galwan Valley on the 15th of June. Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that Indian forces crossed the LSE and indulged in violence which led to the loss of lives. On the evening of June 15th, the Indian frontline forces violated the consensus reached in the military commander level talks between the two sides, crossed the line again, damaging the tents set up by the Chinese side. When the Chinese border guards reached out for negotiation according to the convention for handling the border incidents, the Indian troops suddenly conduct violent attack on Chinese officers and soldiers who came for negotiation, causing intense physical conflict between the two sides and resulting in the loss of human lives. The Indian Army's adventurous behavior seriously violates the agreement signed by the two countries and the basic norms governing international relations. It is of a vile nature and has serious consequences. Meanwhile, Indian Army chief who is presently in Ladakh awarded commendation cards to soldiers who fought against the Chinese army in Galwan Valley. He also inspected forward posts in the region. Indian Ministry of External Affairs had earlier rejected Chinese claims on the Galwan Valley, calling them untenable. India has claimed that Chinese troops attempted to erect a structure on the Indian side of the LAC, which led to the clashes. Joining us on this broadcast is Vion's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl. Sidhan, can you list out the details of what was achieved in this latest round of talks between India and China? And China has once again claimed sovereignty over the Galwan Valley, something that Ministry of External Affairs had categorically denied earlier, earlier calling Chinese claims untenable. Well, yes, Shobit, the talks are over. The talks started at around 12.30 uh, p.m. Indian Standard Time and continued uh, till uh, 3 o'clock. Uh, the Chinese readout of the conversations have come out and uh, basically they talk about what they talk about. Uh, talked uh, and of course uh, uh, have been focusing on on consensus on making sure that the consensus uh, uh, is implemented on the ground whether it is from the 6th of june military talks or whether it is from 22nd of june military talks uh, and uh, called uh, for confidence building measures when it comes to militaries of both the sides uh, uh, but largely we are now waiting for the indian readout what the indian side has to say and also what is expected next given the fact the situation remains very fluid yes Yes, there are consensus. Yes, this is a positive thing. We know uh, that both sides have agreed for uh, consensus uh, on disengagement. But there is a big, big question mark when it comes to will the Chinese side implement the consensus on its uh, side. Also, we know there is uh, the build-up present there uh, at the LAC and that remains a cause of worry for New Delhi. Uh, so basically, there is an increased anti-China feeling on the ground here in India. And also when it comes to talks, talks out outcomes are not known much except uh, the fact that the consensus has been achieved. But there is a very large level of mistrust when it comes to uh, dealing with the Chinese here in the official term uh, in India. And of course, a lot of uh, anti-China sentiment as well. Could India trust China? That is the big question. Yes, the talks are happening. The talks are the best way out to uh, solve situation. We all know, we know the reactions coming across uh, the world calling for 
India and China to sit together and talks. In fact, the Russian foreign minister yesterday only talked about uh, this fact that how Beijing and New Delhi do not need an external advisor to uh, to make sure that there is a diffusion when it comes to uh, the escalation which has started. But uh, we have seen how China has been acting in past few weeks and months. Uh, it's a very combative China, not only with the uh, with with India at the LAC, uh, but also with other countries in the region. We have all seen the reports, whether it's Japan, Taiwan, Vietnam. Um, there is a list of countries. The many was China is right now dealing with, but by and large, this is a China which is aggressive and perhaps trying to use COVID as a crisis to perhaps uh, uh, focus on its uh, expansionist policy. Right, uh, Siddhant, uh, Indian Army chief was uh, in Leh today. He met the soldiers who actually fought the PLA troops. Um, we are also learning that there is a significant build-up on the Chinese side of the LAC, isn't it? Well, uh, first thing, uh, what the government sources have told here uh, to Vion is that this engagement is expected to start uh, uh, in next one or two days, perhaps tomorrow or perhaps day after tomorrow. Uh, secondly, when it comes to the visit of the Indian Army Chief at the LAC meeting the soldiers, uh, we have seen the release. Uh, the release basically talks nothing except his engagements. But when you look at the optics, optics send a message, a message that the Indian Army Chief uh, can go to the location, can honor his uh, soldiers, can honor India soldiers, whether they are dead or whether when it comes to the injured soldiers, we saw the visuals at the hospital. This is something that is missing from the Chinese side. We ha we know that China is a closed society, but they haven't honored their soldiers. And this is something Absolutely. that the world is now asking. We know that it has been more than one week since the, uh, the, the, uh, the face off happened between both the sides, but the Chinese side has been very mum about the number of casualties this is the difference between a democratic society and perhaps uh, uh, not only a, a dictatorial but a very autocratic society. Absolutely. Siddhant Sibal, thank you so much for getting us all the details on the recent round of talks between India and China.